Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs, welcome back to Decidedly Neapolitan, and I've got a bunch of weird stuff in my inventory from harvesting these darkwood trees, which I'm doing for a reason. Oh, it is night time, hello, better sleep. The thing you can see on the right <laughs> is one of the complete slime trees. B ran in the comments of my last video said that they had been kind of detrunked, and Kane has apparently he said he was going to go and inhabit that slime that uh, slime islands that I raided in the last episode basically so not that one up there but the one kind of over towards that forest he's kind of moved in and that's kind of cool I like that it's, it seems like a really interesting place to live because everything looks a little bit different but he has hello creeper and snipe nice not bad that, that was my one arrow I just realized that was my one arrow I, I'm gonna have to go and Finish him off with a sword. Mob griefing isn't a thing on this server, but I do just like creepers to not blow me up while I'm talking. So he's basically, he's he's got saplings from the slimy leaves that were up there, and he's grown me a new slime tree, and it's Merry Slime Tree Day, to parallel the fact that it was Merry uh, Stone Day on the other server. I only have my lumber axe with me. I'm not sure it's going to work on... Oh, it is! Oh, interesting. Okay. And this is just regular congealed green slime, so I did not realise that was going to work, but apparently it is. Oh, and the leaves make a slimy sound as well, even though they're technically leaf blocks. That's really fun. That's interesting. Anyway, I am going to harvest a bunch of these and then possibly leave the rest to decay if they do decay. The ones up there didn't, but maybe they had a, a slime block still left behind. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to wait around and see if they decay, but I have built a couple more lily pad platforms ready for some more solar panels when I get them together, which I haven't yet, but I plan to. That's definitely on the cards. And that one is darkwood leaves, that one is jacaranda that we made in the last episode, and this one is going to be slimy leaves, which make a very, very odd sound, but I think that still looks quite pretty. And it's a bit of textural variation from the other leaves as well, which is good, I like that. So we're gonna hang around here and see if this drops any saplings. So I don't wanna be able to regrow these. It seems to be dropping slime if I break it like that, which... Oh, I don't know. Well, maybe Kane can hopefully supply me with a couple more saplings if I need them, so I don't have to worry too much about that, but hey. Today, we're going to work on a couple of things, and I got a... <laughs> I killed another king... Oh, there, there are two slimy saplings there. Fantastic. Okay, I, I don't need to worry about that anymore then. I got a, a king slime scythe from another king slime that appeared when I got down from that slime island in the last episode. And I'm not quite sure what a slime does, so I'm going to have to do a qu quick bit of reading up on that from the Tinker's Weaponry book, just to see if that actually has something in here. Um, okay, so it's not technically a weapon, I guess. It's probably something else. Uh, where is it? Materials and you? Is it going to be in there? Is it going to be in Mighty Smelting? Mighty Smelting. Now, that's just the uh, Tinker's Construct furnace stuff. The smeltery. Um, okay, here we go. Pickaxe, hacks, brutal, dagger, chisel, lumber axe, scythe. It can be used to harvest crops, leaves, and is a decent weapon. Okay. Interesting. So let's try this out on, a, on, on some leaves out there. It can be used to harvest leaves. And it is technically a weapon, even though I'm probably not going to end up using it as a weapon, because I have... OP gear when it comes to weapons as it is. So do I do I leaves? Do I leaves? Can I leaves? Oh okay, so it's it's kind of like the hammer or the lumber axe where it kind of does a three by three area for you, I guess. Interesting, okay. And you may notice by the peace and harmony that now exists in this swamp that B Ran has turned off slimes. <laughs> this is something I did not know you could do, and maybe I, I'm not sure exactly how he's done it. Maybe he's kind of set their like spawn possibility, their, their, their like chance to spawn to zero, or maybe he's kind of lowered the level at which they spawn. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that we are not going to have slimes on the server now, give or take the blue slimes. And it's going to be kind of interesting to see how that works because apparently there are ways you can get slime in like nature and stuff. I think you can do it with bees. <laughs> you can you can actually obtain slime through means other than by killing slimes. So there isn't really a reason for them to be on the server except for a bit of mob variation and 
yeah, I've got to say, they, they were driving me a little bit nuts. So I'm kind of pleased for now that they are gone, and I guess they can always be brought back if necessary. So that's not really a problem. I'm just going to stash all of this stuff away, and we're going to get working on a couple of things today. The first of which is actually something that I noticed that I picked up. Where is it? Is it in here? Yes, from the last one. These miniature yellow and red hearts. I'm not sure exactly how the red heart goes where I got that one from, but I got the miniature yellow hearts from fighting the slimes. And if I type in yellow heart, it comes up with these yellow heart canisters, which are something you can make using a not chapel. <laughs> and a miniature yellow heart and a red heart canister, which is made using a jeweled apple, which is an apple surrounded by four diamonds. Interesting. And okay, we can we can use this to extend my heart span, my, my like my actual physical health, which is kind of cool. And it's not something that I thought of as a possibility in Minecraft, but apparently you can do that. So I need four diamonds from in here to make this jeweled apple. Yeah, we're going to make that today because I kind of like this as a concept. I'm interested in how this all works. And thankfully, I have two apples with which I can make a jeweled apple and a notch apple if I have enough gold, which I think I might do in the smeltery. But yeah, that is a jeweled apple. Wow. Never thought I'd see one of those. You need that, a necrotic bone and an empty bone canister, I think. Is it, is it a bone canister? A uh, red heart is, is like a an, just an empty canister, but it had a bone in it. That was the one. Or you could just craft it out of aluminium. But I've, I've got tin, and I think tin is a little bit more common than aluminium at this point, so I'm probably going to spare the tin instead. What is that? That's lead. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I, I, have, <laughs> I have no idea what half of this stuff is half the time. Okay, apparently we're getting that noise twice. Interesting times. So we have bones in here. We do. Good, good. So let's throw a bone in here. Throw me a freaking bone here. And there we have it. An empty heart canister. So we need that. I don't know if this needs to be in a particular order, but we have an, a jeweled apple. We have that. We have a necrotic bone. And we have a red heart. And from that we get a red heart canister, which you can apparently eat to restore hearts, or you can pop it in here, and it's a permanent health increase, apparently. Although it doesn't really show in, like... Oh, it does show in the hot bar. Interesting. Okay. And that's slowly filling up with orange hearts. So I kind of wonder how many you get from that. Maybe it's just one. I don't know. It's a permanent health increase anyway. Interesting. So from this, we can now make the yellow heart canister. Let's go back to that one because we need yellow. And so we need one of the yellow hearts. Where's it gone? There it is. We need one of the yellow hearts and the red heart canister and a notch apple. Let's see if I can tap off enough gold blocks from in here. I don't know if 48 ingots is going to be enough, but I think it might be. So it turns out that was enough for six blocks of gold and not eight. So I'm going to have to go mining to find some more gold. I'm not sure if I should do that in my mine down here. Hello. Oh, of course, these. I planted these and they seem to be growing now, which is kind of cool. These are glow shrooms from the nether, which I got from those big old mushrooms out there. And yeah, there are a couple of these now. And I've been kind of growing them in what dark spaces I can. I can't remember if I put any further down, but I thought those were like XP coloured, which was really strange. I have an XP berry farm up here now as well, which is something that I hadn't considered doing, but it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of useful to have. <laughs> it's kind of useful to have XP, and they they don't seem to be that bothered about, I don't, I'm not sure if it's just the version of Minecraft we're in, but they don't seem to be that bothered about sort of decreasing their um, the amount of XP they give you when you go up further levels like it always seems to do about half a level's worth of extra xp which is interesting let me just dump all of this in here for now with the glow shrooms yeah i have a few of those and so we're not going to be able to make a notch apple right now unless i go and do some more mining which i'm kind of tempted to do because i want to see this thing through and i don't think i have any more gold lying around in here i pretty much used up all of the gold i had in my tinker's construct smelting chest just to get the last gold block and i don't have any more in here either so 
We've got like looting three book in there. I wanted to apply to something. Anyway, we will go and mine some more gold. I think I'll do that first. I'll do that off camera and I'll come back to you when we've got enough to make this yellow heart canister. I'm back from caving and I got a pretty decent haul, I think. I'm quite pleased with what I have. I got, I got myself a willow tree along the way because for a start, the wood is green, which is really cool. And there's two different types. There's like a biomes of plenty one and there's a nature one. So I will look forward to testing out what we can do with that in terms of building. I mean, this is probably not going to provide anything other than that. Um, we've got a willow sapling as well, so we can regrow that. Got a few more XP berry bushes. Got a ton of aluminium or aluminum or ber berry bushes because that has been the probably the hardest material to find that's of any regular use. Like Stuff like diamonds and stuff are obviously pretty difficult to find, but I do not have any spare aluminum anywhere and I've been using that to make alumite and stuff so it's always good to have. I've got some alumin, uh, aluminum ore and some aluminum uh, gravel ore as well which I found in the swamp. Okay here we go we've got the last block of gold and I'm pretty sure that is all we needed so I've just got to surround this apple with gold <laughs> make ourselves a notch apple don't even get an achievement for it. I looked in the achievements and it didn't seem like it was even in there but here we go, we have, and we can turn that into a red heart, so if we wanted to, we could make a yellow heart canister and a red heart canister for ourselves, but I assume there is some kind of green heart canister, or some kind of, let's have a look for that, heart can, oh yeah, there is a green heart canister, there you go, and that's another permanent health increase, how do you make it, it's not going to tell me, tell me how it is made. Apparently we just have to work that out for ourselves. Interesting. But if it's going to involve expensive ingredients like this, then I doubt it's going to be worthwhile for the time being. But if I get myself another necrotic bone and make another tin canister, I can always turn that into another health boost as well. So maybe it's just giving us like an extra heart per canister. That seems like the thing it's doing. I'm kind of interested in what the rest of this stuff is too. That's going to be fun to explore. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to do today, there's a couple of things actually. I wanted to do a little bit more stuff for industrial craft and I wanted to start expanding the base down this way. And I haven't really done a great deal down here yet, but I figured what I would do is make some actual kind of living quarters because right now up here on the surface, it's night time so I'd better go to sleep, we have a couple of beds and not much else and sleeping under the stars is all very well but I don't want to feel like I'm camping at my own base so hello enderman I kind of I sidetrack here I want to get some more I've got one ender pearl I can't remember if I have any others because you can make elevator blocks with ender pearls I really wish I had a better sorting system at this point it's kind of all over the place but there you go because yeah you can make I'll pop that in there for now you can you can make elevator blocks with ender pearls but you need two of them for them to be effective because you need to kind of zip between the two of them so I'll see if I have that around here somewhere and if we if I do then we can make it but if not not to worry I was gonna dig out this place down here and make myself some kind of living quarters. That's the plan. It probably needs to be a little bit lower than this, otherwise it's going to start interfering with my other industrial craft area and stuff. But we will do a bit of digging down here, and I'll come back to you when I've built a little bit of stuff. Okay, uh, my uh, my iron shovel has broken, so I'll probably need to make another one. I'm just going to make a regular iron shovel, because that was a Tinker's Construct iron shovel. That was a bad idea. I'm just going to throw that in a chest somewhere. I think it should probably go in here with the rest of the tools, so may as well chuck that one in there. And once I've made a shovel, I can go back down to the basement, which is now kind of the living quarters, and we can place a bed, and I'll show you what I've been doing. I've been doing a bit of work with chisel, and... It's turned out pretty well from my perspective. I really like the way this turned out. I like the kind of cobblestone tile thing, the broken cobblestone tiles. 
I like that. It's it's kind of nice and rustic. It goes really, really well with the leaves. And then around here, you've got the kind of cobblestone panels. This is basically all cobblestone and oak wood, apart from a little bit of sakura wood in the corners. And yeah, cobblestone and chisel and a bit of carpenter's blocks in here just to get the stuff around. And these oak leaves, which fantastic use of chisel. I don't think you can get them back to being normal oak leaves after this, but you can basically make fancy leaves even if you have fast leaf textures enabled. So I can still have leaves like this around my base which are transparent and make sure the lily pad is opaque because goodness me the lily pad looks absolutely terrible with fancy textures on. It looks rubbish just because you know, it's it's meant to look like it's a set of solid blocks, and if you put it on fancy leaf textures, it looks like the entire thing would just crumble and fall apart. So yeah, I've been experimenting with a little bit of that stuff. I'm going to put my bed down here, and then the last thing we're going to do for the building section... I don't know if I want to do leaves this time around. Let's just do solid oak wood. That seems like a cool thing to do. Let's have a solid oak wood frame, and we can sleep in it. That's absolutely lovely. I like that. And the last thing I want to do is build a clock because I've discovered you can do this and apparently there are zombies outside. This is the thing, this is also right next to the waterfall. I think the waterfall is kind of over there. Yeah, so we'll be able to see, hear a few zombies sort of splashing around in the waterfall from time to time. But again, I build my bases in terrible locations. There's really not a great deal I can do about that. I need to grab some redstone to make this clock. So we're going to have to head back upstairs. This is also the reason I want elevator blocks as soon as possible. And guys from the server, if you're commenting on this video, please let me know where the stronghold is. Because I know you guys have been to the end and fought the dragon already. So I should just be able to get an infinite supply of ender pearls whenever I want to by going there and farming endermen. So I can't be bothered to find them in the overworld because they're really, really tricksy and I spend most of my time during the day down here building and stuff. So let me know where that is and I can go and get ender pearls at my discretion and everyone will probably be a lot happier, especially me. So I'm going to make this out of probably willow wood because I wanted to do something with that this time around, and I'm pretty sure you need six slabs for it. The thing I came up here for was redstone. I think that's in the valuables chest over here now. So we're going to grab some of that and do a bit of on-camera crafting, which is always fun. We can pop those in there like that. And then I think the way you do it is you put a stick here. Let's see if I can do this without looking at the recipe. A stick there, gold ingot there, and then you get yourself a clock. Isn't that lovely? Now, I don't know what kind of... That looks really weird in my hand. I don't know what kind of height this thing is. I don't know if it's like a grandfather clock. So I'm going to try placing it on the ground and see what happens. Oh, it's a little one. It's like a mantle clock. Cool. Okay, going to have to find a slightly better place for that then. I wonder if you can place it at an angle. It kind of says that the effective tool is an axe, and the only axe I have on me is my lumber axe. So let me peel it back up to the surface again. Sorry, guys, you're going to have to watch me peel it one more time. <laughs> or I could just edit it out. And we will grab the axe from yonder chest here. And let's put the lumber axe away, because I'm not actually chopping much in the way of wood right now. So there it is. That's quite pretty, even if it tells absolutely nothing like the right time. And the numbers are on in a weird formation. <laughs> That's very, very strange. But I like it. I like it. That's going to be the first bit of furniture we will have down here, aside from the bed, of course. And do I have my carpenter's hammer on me? I don't. I need to change the bedspread. But we will do that another time. And the last thing I want to do today is build us an electric furnace so we can start smelting stuff with the power coming from our solar unit instead of using fuel. And I think I have everything I need to do that now. I think it's an iron plate you need for the circuitry. Correct me if I'm wrong, game. Nope, it is. Fantastic. So we just need this and we need the generator and a couple of other things. So let's look it up. Electric spelling with pixel riffs. For... There it is. And oh, just two redstone either side. Fantastic. Not too bad at all. So, yeah, I keep going to that chest for redstone because I used to store redstone in there, but I don't anymore. Let's grab a couple more of these, put them back any old way, and we have a generator left over in here now that we're using solar energy. We didn't need that anymore, but this is going to be fantastic. It's going to be electric. 
why is that not making it? What is what do we need? Oh, we need an iron furnace, not a generator. Oh, okay, right. So that's easily done. Where is the iron? I think I put a bunch of it in here. And if correct me if I'm wrong, again, I think the iron furnace is just a regular furnace with some iron around it. That seems to be... I'm probably completely wrong about that, aren't I? Give me two seconds to figure it out. And surround it with iron. Yep, nope, completely wrong. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's find out how to make that quickly. Iron plates, right, of course, of course, industrial craft, yes. <laughs> that was that was a derp moment, but never mind. One iron plates, we've got enough of them anyway, fantastic. I'll leave the iron in here, because we will smush that back into plates later. And pyramid formation like so, and then furnace there. Okay, good. So we can keep the generator, interesting. We can probably use that to make another solar panel. I think a generator is required for those. So there it is, even hotter topic. <laughs> I like it. And we can have the furnace there. It's power going in from all sides, apparently. And this is going to be able to smelt us some awesome stuff. The bat box has been charging pretty well. Once I get a couple more solar panels on the go up here, we should have a pretty steady stream of power. And of course, it's nighttime, so I'll have to head back down to my living quarters and sleep. But that is going to be all for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Pixel Riffs, and apologies for the occasional lag spikes. I think that's just the server. I don't think it's the client. So not a great deal I can do about that. But this is modded, so what the hey, glitches abound. It's been awesome sharing this stuff with you. Thank you very much for watching, and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Jeff is on the server, and I like fighting with us when someone else is on the server, because the noise really freaks them out. So let's build the soul sand over here. Let's put two of the skulls on, do all of the potions and whatnot, and...